I wanted to try out the RTX voice stuff, but since I only have a 1060, like a GTX 1060, it doesn't really, it's not supposed to work. But uh, somebody posted on a forum somewhere that it uh, still works if you just edit the file. Sometimes, sometimes it's going to work, sometimes not. Most likely it only works if you have the newest version of the driver. I saw some people posting they have a GTX 750 Ti or something, and it still worked. I have a 1060, which is uh, pretty new, but still pretty old nowadays, but it still worked. So I'm going to show you how to do it and then uh, do some quick tests. So the way I did it is I googled RTX. Let me find the tab here, RTX. Typed in NVIDIA RTX, whatever. I skipped through all the shit. And then I went, they, they write something about drivers. You can, you know, you could do whatever. And then I downloaded the app. And then I pressed on the install stuff. Like you get a, you get an EXE. Then you double click it. And then it tries to install, it shows the default NVIDIA driver window install thingy. And then it shows you that you can't, uh, you can't install it because your shit's too old. All right. So what you do is you go to your PC, you go to the local disk that you have. For me, it's C. Then you go to a, uh, to a folder called temp. Then NVRTX voice, you click that shit. And then you go NVAFX. Click that, and then in here there's a file called RTX Voice. It's a .nvi file. I don't know why you can't. There we go. It's a .nvi file, and then you edit it however you want. But you have to edit it with well, on my PC. I had to edit as an admin. I don't know why. Probably because it's in it. I don't know. My shit's fucked up. It doesn't matter. You edit it, and I have already edited it. So this is how it looks edited. This is how it looks unedited. The only difference here is this right here. It says constraints, and then some shit about constraints, and then it closes the const constraints tag. Anyone familiar with like any kind of XML will uh, recognize this. You delete this, you see it's gone, you save it, then you go to this folder and you just do the setup, you just start it, and for me, it just worked. For me, it might not work. Uh, for you, it might not work. But then you want to just look up, I don't know, Google it or something. But if you have any kind of new card, newish card that has CUDA cores, you need CUDA on it, apparently, then it should work. Keep in mind, it's going to maybe be shit. Who knows? I don't know. For me, it uses like 800 megabytes of RAM, but it works. So I have some tests set up. Um, just the initial thing. I have Logitech G430. Where is it? Logitech G430, it's the same one that Tyler1 uses, so you know it's quality. Also, it's Logitech, so you know it's quality. It's a blue one. Um, in Windows, I have to have, uh, I usually have to have it boost by 30 decibels. Now, let me do that. Okay, this is how it sounds, and uh, yeah. Anyway, that's how it would sound. That's my bad, I fucked up. But that's how it would sound, but if you do that, everything sounds ultra fucked. Now, I'm uh, gonna leave it at zero decibels because I think that's that's in theory that would be nice to keep it at zero because then uh, your shit's not gonna sound fucked. Um, now in OBS the way I set it up I, is I have some I have different gain filters set up so I can test how it sounds with 10 decibels gain and then with 30 decibels gain. Um, now this one I already have on 30 decibels gain. This is the RTX so this is how it sounds clean. All right with 30 decibels gain clean sound in the RTX settings I have it on full remove background noise now if I enable I will disable this and enable my normal microphone let me check I enable the gain there on the normal microphone now I will switch the only thing I will switch now is from RTX enabled like the RTX voice shit enabled to RTX voice disabled so just from this to my normal microphone all right good luck so this is how I sound talking through my normal microphone I don't know how this sounds. I'm assuming it sounds pretty bad, but maybe not. Who knows? You can also set up some filters in in uh, in your OBS, like you can do a noise gate, uh, and you can do noise suppression and everything, so to like fix the audio shit. But still, in the end, it's gonna it's still gonna kind of suck when your sound comes through. It's probably gonna be grainy and whatever. And RTX is supposed, to, or the RTX voice shit is supposed to fix that. Okay, so we switch again back to the RTX stuff. Sounds like this. It has to be boosted though for me. If I don't boost it, it sounds like this. No boost, it's fucking quiet. Hello, hello, hello. So either you boost it in the in the software you use or you boost it in Windows.
let's try to boost it in Windows and not boost it here. So you guys can hear how it would sound if you just use Windows and like exactly the same setup as I use. Um, I have like some 5, X570 motherboard. Um, one of those that you need for a, for an AMD CPU. Maybe that's the main board is also, I think also plays a factor in audio quality, but you know. Um, where's the fucking thing? There we go. So I disable again here. Alright, now I enabled the my Windows Boost. This is how it sounds, Windows Boosted, so default Windows shit, and then just RTX, and then just fully on. Now, let's say you don't want to have everything fully on. You want to do only halfway suppression, because it changes your voice. You'll see now what happens. It sounds like this. This is how my voice sounds, supposedly without any editing, I'm assuming. Now suppression is at zero, maybe I have to check this. It's unchecked, so I don't know what happens now. I check it, it sounds like this, now I do it at half percent, sounds like this, half percent, I think half percent is still, it makes no sense personally, I think, uh, to have it at half percent, either you go full or no, probably, maybe it changes different for different voices, and if I notice here, what you can do is, if you do this, yeah, I blow, I'm gonna blow it to the microphone, it's like nothing comes through, but if you do a good old, if you're, uh, if you do a sniff, like this, <laughs> it will go through. So I don't know what kind of technology they're using, but they should have some more uh, people with uh, dry noses to test out their software. Maybe it's going to learn over time, but who knows. So yeah, that's how you set it up, and that's like some audio shit. You can just skip, you know, whatever. You can just skip the first part if you don't care about how to how it sounds or anything. If you just want to trust it, uh, try it out, it's probably best to do it yourself and try it out in OBS to see what sounds how. I'm okay with it. It, ch it changed my voice a little bit, so I'm not too happy about it, but... Uh, it's still if for recording and stuff it's probably still the best one of the best softwares out there especially since it's free and it seems to not use too much resources it only really uses ram and i've got enough of that so i'm not I'm happy with that all right cool uh hope it helped otherwise uh yeah good luck google solutions or just don't use it